Friends, quick edition of From Chris to You. Just uh, three things to share with you. The first one is stay connected with God and with others. That's the first thing. Uh, Jesus, he died on the cross. He's risen to new life. And Romans chapter 8 teaches how he intercedes for us now. He prays for you now. Uh, it's just a great comfort that Jesus knows where you're, where you're at. He knows what you're going through. And he prays for you. Uh, it's just a great comfort. And stay connected with God. Know that he loves you. He cares for you. Uh, and just be reminded of that each day as you wake up, as you live life. You know, live for him, living for him who died for you. Uh, and stay connected with others. Uh, so whether that's connect group, uh, whether it's uh, at church on Sundays, uh, it's so important for us to stay connected during this time with each other. Uh, whatever that looks like for you at the moment, stay connected. So now the second thing I want to share is that uh, our church finances. At the beginning of the pandemic, everyone thought it would be over in six months. The federal government certainly thought that would be the case. Set up JobKeeper in that way. And as a church, we quickly became eligible for JobKeeper. Uh, I rewrote the, the the budget and we took that to parish council and took it to the AGM, including a 20% reduction in my stipend and benefits. And those things are coming to an end now. Uh, so that reduction of my stipend and benefits, but also the church being on JobKeeper. Uh, so we need to stand on our own two feet in many ways as a church uh, moving forward into October. And I just want to just put before you our financial concerns as a church. We want to be doing the very best we can to be able to care for each other. The staff are working so hard doing the things that uh, they're doing uh, to be able to see our church uh, through this period of time. Uh, so if you're not giving regularly, please give regularly, whether it's weekly, fortnightly or monthly. And think about giving sacrificially, uh, not just uh, a spare bit of cash as it were, uh, but really showing that Jesus and his concerns and his church are number one in your life. Uh, so let me just put that uh, to you for your consideration and you can find out details about giving on on website. Uh, thirdly, uh, I just want to uh, share a little bit about the exciting thing that's happening with Sunday Kids. Uh, we're very keen about bringing Sunday Kids back in a way that enables the kids to learn about Jesus in a way that's appropriate for them, that's happening on Sundays in our Sunday gatherings. And this Sunday on uh, three o'clock in the afternoon we have our first sunday kids 101 we're going to hear what it looks like to be a leader uh, at sunday kids moving forward and a similar thing happening on tuesday evening on zoom uh, and we want to be able to help people be at one congregation and serve at another or uh, serve in sunday kids at their own congregation once a month uh, they're the kind of two kinds of pictures serving in another gathering uh, serving in another congregation uh, or serving at their one once a month. So I'm really looking forward to what comes out of that and really relaunching Sunday Kids uh, on our Sunday gatherings. So really looking forward to that uh, and looking forward to seeing you on Sunday sometime soon.